I'm going to be looking at and setting up the uh, Creality Ender 3 Neo Max. It's, uh, it's got a CR Touch screen on it. Uh, so I'm going to open it up and I shall get all the bits out and then put it together. It's got an auto leveling bed, uh, dual Z access, full metal extruder, silent uh, motherboard, filament sensor, and uh, it's a large bed size. It's 300 by 300 by 320 millimeter. Right, there's the pack. Now these are a lot easier to put together um, than they used to be. Uh, although the manuals are always very good and good step by step. Everything packed in tightly. It's all sort of bespoke foam. Hold all the bits in. Right. Right. What I'm going to do is I shall get all this out, all spread out, ready, and uh, the instructions out, and then I shall start putting it together. This is now set up and I'm just going to try a first test print. There'll be something on the card I can try. So let's just have a look at that. Print. Rabbit. Print and rabbit. Confirm. And uh, I'll just see how that turns out and then I'll look at printing something a bit bigger to try out the uh, size of the base. starting now, let's check everything's alright, the levelling, and it's going to uh, start properly. Seems fine. Yeah, that seems fine. I'll let that run and uh, we'll have a look at that once it's finished. This is now coming to the end. It's on 99%. It all looks to have gone very well. Um, the uh, printer's quiet, but the fans are quite noisy in it, or I find them so. We've got some nice touches on this, like the little storage drawer, um, and uh, everything seems to have gone fine. The display uh, goes dim after a while. I, I just moved it to uh, get it to show. But, yeah, it's just a case of waiting for it to finish now. It certainly looks fairly good. Don't see any problem. I didn't make any adjustments other than the standard adjustments out of the box. Right, sorry, I just did it standard out of the box and um, did a print with it. And of course, leveled it up. It's out now, let's have a look at it. Let's take it off. Normally, I'd, uh, I'd wait for the bed to cool down before I took this off. But Yeah, it all looks very good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a I'm going to try a 22-hour print 
and it's using the maximum of the board the bed rather um, and that'll be a circus elephant so it'll go across this way I could have turned it made it slightly bigger but it's a it's a 150 percent so it's as I say at the maximum of the bed and what I will do is I'll uh, I'll move the printer over a little bit out of the way in case uh, it gets knocked and then uh, see how that turns out right I'm just going to start this 22 hour print uh, I've got the micro SD card in I've loaded up the elephant print and I've started it so temperature's just coming up so it should be started any second just wait for that there we go I'll keep an eye on the first layer and that, make sure it's going down all right, and then uh, I shall then come back when it's finished. I seem to do a, a really good job of the rabbit, so hopefully this is going to come out well. I've got this, he's got no support on this, it's got a skirt. And... Uh, just knock that off. Um, I think I've got a 10% infill on it. This screen goes off uh, after a while. Um, eco mode, I present. And that's starting right from over there and right over to this side. Good. Right, I'm just going to let that run and I shall come back when this is finished. This is just about coming to the end. Um, what I'll do when it finishes, I'll leave the bed to cool down because it's a lot easier to take off. Doesn't seem to be any stringing. Quality seems pretty good. This is I, I set this to a standard quality, so it's not the highest. It all seems pretty good and pretty clean. Um, Tommy remaining is. Uh, Nothing now, 99%. Just finishing off the end bit. So it's all pretty smooth. The noisiest thing about this print is the fans. Uh, they are quite noisy. Well, in, in comparison. That's just a basic uh, red PLA. I don't... Uh, I don't tend to buy anything too expensive, I don't find it makes, well, I don't know, people will argue for me, they all seem pretty much the same, either good or bad quality. It's coming out now, it's completely finished. As I say, I'm going to let it cool down and then I'll take it off the base, see how easy it comes off and uh, have a look at it. I've now let the bed cool down a bit, so I'm going to try to take this off. Should be fairly easy. I find they come off a lot easier once it's cooled down. Fine. 
this one's nice and clean. That's it. Now to sum up, it's uh, yeah, it's a nice machine. It's a uh, big bed, glass bed, which I like. Um, everything comes out nice and clean. Controls are nice and smooth. Um, yeah, the feeding system's good. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll use it a bit more, do a few more prints, and uh, and I shall come back with my full written review.